Raven. <laughs> Saving the seat for me over here, my little partner. Hey, partner. Damn, you look fantastic on camera. Okay. All right, guys. We must finish off where we left off about a couple hours ago. Yep. There goes the message. Message? Let's see. So, do I have the cartridge nearby? I don't know if anyone was around for the previous stream earlier today. It was only like a couple hours ago. Let's see, Brian, we're back. Yeah. Ready to finish off with the American Gladiators and then move on to Umbrella Chronicles. We're pretty close. close to finishing. That's for sure. But uh, I think we'll be able to do one outbreak scenario. That's what it is, basically. It, it's uh, Umbrella Chronicles, but they threw in an, uh, a scenario that's basically from the Outbreak series. And they... they they threw me off because I thought it was going to be about Resident Evil 3, but it wasn't. Did you guys see my little raven? We're back, guys. Peta Parker. Good day, mate. Let me show you guys what we got over here. Um, boop. As you all know, we're back on Ghetto Vision. There it is. Right back at it. I got it set up. Earlier, we were going up on... Uh, we are playing... American Gladiators on the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I'm playing this bad boy over here to be able to display it off my PSP to the TV, because that's the only way I could do this, and the best way where I can actually control it with the classic style, be retro enough, you know what I mean? Oh, volume is quite loud. <laughs> if anybody missed out on the previous stream, you'll see what I mean about how addicting this game can be. It is... It is by all means a very underrated title right here. So we're gonna finish it off. There's only five levels and a a main obstacle course to finish things off. And we're already in the fourth level here. So only we, we only gotta complete two levels and that final obstacle course. And then we move on to Resident Evil. All right, guys. Now, to, yeah, I'm gonna get through the Powerball first. Who here is returning from earlier? From Two hours ago, we got Peter Parker, we got CP, and M M N M M N M N M and M N E. Says glad you came back. I had to go for a run. Ah, there you go, exercising. Good lad. All right, let's get through this. This one for anyone that's new to this, for to this game that doesn't really know about this, this game puts you through like five difficult challenges. Like, uh, like this is one of them. But this is probably the, the least difficult one. I basically got to put this ball into that hole. You know, all of these holes, there's five of them in total. You don't have to complete it. This is just to reward you an extra one-up. And uh, let's see. We're going to need it because the tough ones such as the human cannonball one. <laughs> Dude, that shit is insanity. Ah, yeah, I got one up. All right, good. All right, I don't have to try over here. These guys slide around too. All right, let's see. Before we move on to one of the difficult ones over here, does anybody want to join me in partaking in the peace pipe? Bring out your fat man herb, your green herbs. <laughs> and let's finish this off. Ah, oh, human cannonball, I wanna get the toughest one out of the way. You might like this trophy on your mantle. Yeah, knocking people off a stage, holding on to a rope that's made of balls. <gasps> yeah, one down, three more to go. Man, why they gotta make it so difficult? Look at that. Oh God, I gotta count down on how long it takes to get back. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. There you go, two, two seconds. All right. One, two, nope. One, two, yes! Oh, just barely. Okay, now earlier I learned that you can actually hear the platform from the opponent when it hits the top and when it hits the bottom. 
So since you can't see it on screen all the time, you gotta you gotta think of that. You gotta listen to to the the platform in the back. Okay, so now it's heading up. Now it's going down. I don't know if you guys can hear it. That's the sound right there. Right there. All right. So now let me try again. Okay, it's going up. Ah, oh, I should have gone right there. Damn. Nope, not this time. It's going down. In order to land it, I need to hit him when the platform is going up. I notice that that's the time when it actually works. Oh, man, it's taking me a while. <laughs> this dude's just swinging away. But yeah, I gotta listen to the platform over here. Alright. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks, he was even rising. It should have gotten him. Damn it. Now I gotta try again. There goes my one up. Go for it! <laughs> Alright. It's going down. Man, I was hitting him. I hit him while the platform was going up, so that beat that little tactic I had going. When I was a kid, that was the last time I played this from what I remember. When I was a kid, like, I would have to take a while swinging away, and then eventually, I think it's like the opponent drops his guard and doesn't expect you jumping on him. Right there, I should have gone for it. Maybe I can go for it in this next one. Let's see. No, not yet. <sighs> he has to be going up. Oh, come on. That should have worked. Why does he block it off right there? That's not fair. Damn it. See, that's why I hate the cannonball one. It's so difficult. Especially since you can't see it. Come on. Ah, oh, damn, too high. That might not even count. I'm gonna let go a little early here. I don't think it, there's a chance that it works. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I gotta save right here just in case. I don't wanna have to repeat this, especially since we're trying to go to another game after this. Oh, hell no. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I thought he was going to jump just straight, not to the side. You bastard! Ah, You know what? Let's go back. <laughs> How dare they do that? Ah, Dude, they trick you. you. You can't literally grab it and grab onto the rope. So that thing, for those of you that don't know about it, if you grab it, you're, it gives you the ability to slide up and down on that rope. That ball rope. Oh, damn it. Okay, so we're on to the third opponent, I think. There's four in total, so oh, man, that bites. Uh, okay, so this one, his platform moves faster. Okay, it's going down, going up. Oh, come on, man. Oof. Here we go again. What even is this, says Artsy? This is American Gladiators on the NES. Dude, it's fucking hilarious. Like, you'll see some of the other modes that are hilarious, dude. This is kind of like Mario Party, if anything. Uh, <laughs> how did you not grab it? <laughs> but wait, no, luckily we got safe states. Let's go back, back it up. Look at that, they throw that glove, bastards. How dare they throw it? Wait a minute, is it possible that I can get to the edge here? And then jump this way? Oh, for you weren't supposed to do that, bunghole. I want to see if I can get that glove and not die. Oh, no, you still die no matter what. Damn, that bites. All right. No more dilly-dallying. I got to beat this so I can jump in Umbrella Chronicles. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder, is, is Brian here in the chat? Ah! <laughs> Yes, I think so far, no, it was Ricardo that's uh, the only one, the only other person that's played this game. Oh, man, this is difficult. Why they gotta make it so difficult? This is the fourth level out of five. All right, let's see, after this one, uh, oh, damn it, I should've jumped it right there. Not in this one, but the next one I'm gonna jump in. I don't think it's gonna work, but, Ugh! oh, come on, buddy. That should've worked. That bites. I feel like they really should have counted that one, no bullshit. <laughs> oh, damn you! And he fell to his death. <laughs> damn, it gets so damn difficult. How did I do this as a kid without any save states? Seriously. I managed to do it before, but... 
It's like you get older and you get worse? I'm even over here trying to a new strategy, which is listening to the platform of the enemy. Okay. Let me try that strategy again. Okay. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now. Come on! Yeah! One final dude. Again, save, homie. Save! <laughs> I don't want to have to repeat that. I hate repeating these ones. It's it's just, it's almost like luck. Not really though, right? Or, or what do you think? Since the guy does use that like, that pad to stop you. Oh, man, now they change the speed on both of them so it throws you off. All right, here we go again. All right, guys. <laughs> Yeah, this is what Score grew up with. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't lift that platform. How dare he. Yeah. Ooh, the tip. Grab the ball by its tip. <laughs> it's going up. It's going down. It's going up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. No. You have better chances when it's going up. Down, up. Oh, man. No. It's going down, up, down, up, down. No. It feels like there's barely a difference on, on the platform when I reach it. Man, I don't think it matters whether I hit it when it's going up. I think it's... I just gotta jump. I wanna just jump. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Bloody hell. No, 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 don't give me that password. Get me the president. There you go. No, 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 we're not there yet. Why didn't load that one? We gotta finish off. Maybe I need the, the peeps on the chat to, to hit the thumbs up. <laughs> oh, fuck! No! Wait a minute, you know what? We can reverse! Reverse this curse. <gasps> oh, good. Thank God for safe states and rewinding, right? Damn. After this one, I have one more of the human cannonball challenges to deal with and for the fifth level, and then finally we're done with it. But that basically means four more to go after this. Bastards. Yeah, Geronimo! <laughs> They said that this this is actually something they did in real life in American Gladiators. Does anyone believe that? I gotta watch it. Ah, oh, good. The tip. All right, man, hold your balls. Hold your balls. I'm gonna need a little rewinding after this one. All right, Geronimo. <laughs> That would have hit you. Come on. How dare they not count it? Man, what mad patience did I have as a kid? Yeah. There you go. Man. I've been doing this for like 13 minutes, haven't I? Jesus. Let go. Oh, fucking. No, no, no. Get back on that ball. <laughs> we got to do this. No more... No more missing away. We gotta move on to the next one. Yeah, uh, look at it. It's supposed to hit him. Why doesn't it work? You bastard. I get it if he lifts it. If it's if I'm going above him, right, to bounce off his head that way. But but when it's right here, it's like, oh come on, man! I hit you right straight forward. Get him in the noggin. Wee! <laughs> there you go. I feel like there was no strategy but luck in that one. <laughs> Brian, let's see that replay. Oh God, save now. I'll forever hold your peace. All right. We're saving the best ones for last over here. Joust. Joust is a doozy. So is the wall. But the saw is my favorite. This time I'm gonna go for it right now, but uh, I'm gonna uh, take a green herb right now real quick. If anybody wants to uh, join me virtually. There we go. I was like, where is it? Where are you? So is it dark for everyone right now? What what time is it? What's everyone's time code? Time zone and everything. 
How's your day so far, doodler? <laughs> Back in the day, people had fun. Yes, they did. Yes, we did. Nowadays, people think words are harmful. Well, it's getting worse, homie. <laughs> it's gonna get worse. 10.25 p.m., huh? 10.25. Right now, it's 7.26 uh, on my end. Puff. Puff pass, homies. Or whatever you do to chill. <clears throat> All right. Let's get my favorite one done and over with. <clears throat> All right, so I'll, I gotta collect those right there. <clears throat> those are like three arrows I can shoot out. I gotta hit this guy six times by now. <clears throat> In the first level, you only had to hit him three times. He has to hit you three times. It's always three times for you. But for him, you gotta land an additional hit. Yeah! One out of six? Two! Ow! I barely survived that part. I thought it got me. I was even ready to say ow. <coughs> yeah! Yeah! Damn. This vehicle shows no. Oh god. Come on, let me get that. Damn you! <laughs> Ten seconds left. I forgot. Oh god, I got hit. No time to shoot him. I got seven seconds. Uh, uh, two, one. Oh man, just barely. I hate that there's a time limit because I like taking that thing down. But I can't do it if I'm under pressure. All right, joust. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, classic. Classic quote. Did they invent it here? All right, buddy, my Q-tip is stronger than yours. Oh god. Okay, I know your, I know your, your rhythm. Know your rhythm. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Damn you. Ah. <laughs> now he's throwing me off. Ah. All right, take it easy. All right, one at a time. One more, there you go. All right, that's one out of four. <laughs> you could fall off, man. This is more harder than it looks. Okay, so down, up. That's his only tactic, okay. Okay, okay, I got this. There you go. Two more dudes left. My Q-tips got this. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, that's up, middle, down. That's probably the strategy. Yes, it is. There you go. <sighs> okay, grab the Q-tip. Grab it! Okay, go, okay, go, okay. Oh, you gotta fall that way? Oh man, it was more difficult than it looks. Damn it. If I grab that, all I would need is to land the first hit on the opponent and that knocks him down, but I didn't get it. Okay, top, middle, top, bottom, middle. Oh fuck. Middle, top, bottom, uh something, middle, top, middle, top. Damn, dude. I'm not gonna remember this right. Middle, top. Ah, oh, Jesus. Damn it. Uh, damn it. Bottom, then middle. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. All right. Rematch. Top, middle, top. Damn it. Middle. Oh, no. And then that one. Top, middle, top. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Top, middle, top, boom, boom, damn you, damn it, oh god, damn it, <laughs> no, no, ah, <laughs> damn, you know what 
know what's funny? You could block too. Oh, damn it. Wait. Does that mean... Oh, dude, I didn't save, did I? Does that mean I have to do the assault again? Ah, oh, bloody hell. <coughs> Damn. He beat me with his Q-tips. All right. Jose. <laughs> Let's see. Smarter, not harder. Yeah, I know, right? I just couldn't go with his... Uh... Damn it, I gotta go again with him. I better try it out. Damn. I couldn't memorize that, that pattern of his... It was like top, middle, top, and then, oh my god. Hang on. Where's my drink? Where's my drink? Oh, there. All right, middle, oh, I think that was his only pattern. get the super the super q-tip I gotta reach it this time if I'm not good with memorizing shit then I gotta get that super q-tip damn you They scream. <laughs> All right, Dolph. Up, middle, low, up, middle, low, up, middle, low, up, middle, low, up, middle. Ah! Damn you! Don't throw me off. <laughs> you know. Okay, poquito. There you go. All right, now on to the final guy. All right, grab the super Q-tip. You're mine. <laughs> Got it. Don't fall. <sighs> okay, what the hell was the first hit on him? Let's do this. Okay, so ta up, middle, up. Damn! <laughs> I thought he repeated it twice. Far up, middle. Ah, oh, I pushed middle. Uh. Oh, damn you! You made me fail. No, it was me. Da! Da! <laughs> okay, I think, I think, I don't wanna jinx it. I don't wanna jinx it. I'll get it wrong. <laughs> Damn it! Come on, come on. Ugh. Oh, no, it was down. Da! Ah! <laughs> it only repeats once, that's what it is. Go, 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 go. There you go. Ah! So, yeah, spin that Q tip. Ah, oh, damn! For anyone that wants to watch uh, Devious Grace playing, I think Resident Evil 7, she's streaming that right now. <laughs> For anyone that wants to check that out. She's like, hey, play these games, these Resident Evil games with me. But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't get interested in, in the concepts. The concept, all right. I think I want to go with Assault just to try it again and just get that out of the way. I'm gonna just run it. 
I'm not going to the. Oh, fuck, he shot me in the lung. Oh, get away. Oh. Just keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, no. <laughs> he hit me once. I mean, one more time and I'm done. Oh. 30 seconds. Ah, oh, come on. Ooh. It's hard because this guy kind of slides. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop moving. Ah, oh, good. Whew. It's more fun taking him down. But I can't beat that time limit. Man, brains can beat brawn any day. She's right. Very right. Very correct. <laughs> I need a green herb. Man, we're close to beating this. We're so close. Like Patrick says, I can almost taste it. Oh man, I love the layout on this one. <coughs> this lady woman, <laughs> this lace woman is fine. I know, right? <coughs> As a kid, I was like, damn, man. She is hot. <coughs> I don't even know what she looks like in real life. Just the pixelated version. <coughs> and they did such a great job because... They have such limitations with with uh, with with pixels, especially for 8-bit. <coughs> Man, I love this one. For any of you that have been watching the previous stream where I was starting off this game, you can see that every map, like every, basically every level for for lace for this chick, <coughs> it looks very different from each other. Like it, it looks beautiful. Something about it, I just love what they did. I don't know why. Is it just me, or do these colors, something about these colors, cyan, silver, black, purple, green, like, something about it just hits. Oh, God. Oh, for anyone to, as well, just so you know, if I fuck up, if I grab in a spot where there's no no piece for her to grab onto, just like in real life, she'll fall. So I really got to watch out with that. And the crazy thing is uh, there's a bunch of other chicks that show up, and they'll try to drop on you, and they could grab on you. Just... One little pixel of, of uh, touch, and your character will go down. <coughs> so you gotta be ultra careful. Oh man. Oh, come on. Okay, there you go. Come on. Oh yeah, and so the way you move is, uh, let's see, you gotta aim at a direction with the D-pad, of course. But to move her left arm, you push the B button. To move her right arm, you move you push the A button. So you hold a, at a direction. Say you want to go up, you hold up, and then you push A B A B A B A B just simultaneously back and forth. You got to make sure to get it right. Otherwise, if you try to do one twice, you could make her fall. I believe that happens. So you got to be very careful here. Woo! Hang on, hang on. Okay. I gotta be careful. Big time. Oh, come on, grab the middle. There you go. <laughs> Dude, I know that when there was a kid, when it came to going to this part, there's a chick that's gonna drop by any second now. But I can't remember if it's in this layout or in the next part next to her left. We'll find out right now. Ah, yep. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, there you go. Little by little. I think it happens again, sadly. Which makes this even more difficult. Come on, grab there. And back at it. Come on, don't drop any more chicks on me right now. Especially that close from the top. Come on, please don't drop right now. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Ah, oh, man. Oh god. <laughs> oh, dude. Please, 
please don't drop another one. I don't have the chance right here. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. Ay, way. I almost fucked up the way she moved right there, I think. Okay, now go this way. Take your time. Luckily, the time limit, if it expires, it doesn't prevent you from winning. Oh, God. Oh, good. Power glove, do not kill me. Okay, there you go. <sighs> Telling me this is the top. I don't remember. Is this it? Is this the top? Don't throw any more chicks at me. Don't throw any more. Ah, damn it. Now we gotta go to the right. Uh, <laughs> a, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Ah, oh, man. Why am I addicted to these kinds of games? Uh, maybe down or... Oh boy. Dude, I feel like they're gonna throw someone at me right here. Man, I wanna save. <laughs> I wanna save here. Give me a checkpoint, let this be it. Oh, man. Okay, go from here. Alright, there you go. She fell. <laughs> Did you guys hear Grace? <laughs> Says that she was like, she was yelling out loud, Get! Get! <laughs> Very rednecky. I think this is, yeah, that's it! Oh, there we go. We made it. I want to see that, man. Tell me there are some YouTube videos of American Gladiators where they actually did this. I want to see Lace in action. <gasps> I was wrong. There's only four levels. Damn, dude. I could have beaten this earlier. Yeah, this is my favorite part, guys. You got to watch this part. This is the best part of the game, man. I, I can't believe the game literally saved the best part of it for last as like a boss rush or something. It's not a boss rush. As a, you know, it's just a final obstacle. This part is the best. I love it. I, I hate that I'm overhyping it, maybe. But I just, I always enjoyed it as a kid. I hope it still lives up to its standards. That Blaze chick. Yeah, damn. Spicy. All right, let's do this. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, if you crouch, those balls don't push you back. <laughs> this is good. Oh boy, don't hit me balls. Oh man. The, uh, the jumping on this part. Oh shit. No, no, screen. Oh, <laughs> I died by the screen. Oh, good thing there's already a savior. But this one will give me more chances. Don't get burned, she says. People, make your bets. How many times do you think it'll take me till I beat this? Oh, yeah. oh fuck. <laughs> you can move in midair, so I was like moving because I thought there was going to be one of those balls hitting her or hitting him in midair. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good thing I directed him that way. Okay. Stop throwing shit. I need to get that way. Come on. Uh. No. No. Uh. <laughs> Damn you, balls. Jump faster, homie. Faster. Uh. Okay, we're almost there. Man, why is my leg shaking? <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> we made it to the zipper. <laughs> Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Uh. Uh. 
Man, did they do this in real life as well? How was the zipper? All right, let go. Go, 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 go. This could not have been a real, a real obstacle in real life. Oh God, that thing almost hit me over there. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh no! Ah! Damn that ball! They're throwing it like random. I, at least I, I feel that's what's going on. Oh shit! No! <laughs> I was like, should I back up? No, I didn't go that far. Oh man! Damn! No! Oh! <laughs> I was like, what's gonna kill me? The background? <clears throat> Alright, go, go, go. Oh, shit, shit. Damn! Whew. <laughs> They're throwing it like, like at random, man. I'm telling you, I don't see a pattern here. Uh. Okay, now go. No. No, that one's sure to hit you. Oh, man. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, bub. All right, maybe here? Okay. Careful, careful. I feel like this is something Batman would go through. By the Joker or the Riddler. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, damn! Is the audience throwing these balls? And are they giant Cheetos? Like Cheeto puff, cheese puffs? Go! No! Oh! <laughs> I thought the things were going the opposite way. Oh, shit, this is... Can I make it? Oh, another zipper! No, my zipper! Climb the rail, dude! Oh, God! <laughs> Climb the rail! Oh, they didn't count that. Oh, good. At least I get back on the zipper. Oh, no! Oh, good, good. Those cheese puffs can't touch me there. Alright, no more cheese puffs. Alright, can I get this right? Ah! <laughs> Did they really do this in real life? American Gladiators, how'd you do this? I was like, did I let go too soon? Yes, I did. By a millimeter. Oh, no, don't throw too many cheese puffs at once. Enough! Ah! <laughs> Damn, how many, how many chances do I have? Dude, this is from a safe, a safe state from long ago. So I'm like, did I, did, like, was I a pro at one point? I don't even remember that shit. How many lives did I have um, in the run that I had going right now? I had like one left. Ah! All right. Grab onto the zipper. Oh, it counted. Okay, so it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Okay, just an itty bit accurate. Just a little bit. Ah! No! <laughs> Maybe I could have reached the other zipper from below. All right, come on. Damn you cheese puffs, look at them. They're everywhere. Oy. <sighs> okay. Uno mas. Come on, I know your palms are sweaty, bro. But we got this. Grab that zipper. One more zipper. Whee! Uh. All right, homie. Use them biceps. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, there you go. Ah, oh, fuck. No. Okay, good, good. Uh, <laughs> I counted. Uh, is that it? Damn you, game. Uh, tell me. Oh, good, good. Damn, how many was that? I think I won just because of a rhythm in my head. <sighs> we did it. Man, this is the first time that you get to see these particular sprites. Because when you're playing, you're seeing the same sprite the whole time. But look at those, those are all different. Those are the ones you play as. <laughs> well, the, ma the male character. 
The female one, that's not the same one from the wall, since the one on the wall has blue hair. Where is that one? She deserves to be up there. Unless after she won, she dyed her hair. Congratulations, you are an American Gladiator's Grand Champion. Of what year? What year was it? 1990? Password ABBA. ABA, ABBBB. All right, peeps. Oh, man, I'm stretching. All right. Now, as uh, I said, we're going to try out Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles. All right, game, thank you very much for, uh, for working here. Boop. Now, let's sign off. This was on the PSP, by the way. Isn't that dope? Able to do this on a PSP. Makes it be like, yeah, damn. What a beauty. What an amazing device. Capable of emulation at its finest. Let's see. I'll show you guys. We got, we got our baby. <laughs> the good old Raven still here. Still looking adorable. Look at that. Raven in 4K. Thank you, Jonathan. Hey, <laughs> Jose, ABBA. All right, guys. We're going to get started on this one over here. Let's see. But, um, this one. But we're going to try out, I think, just one of the scenarios. There's, there's a good handful of scenarios you get to play through. That being the story of Resident Evil Zero, One, uh, some side stories for Rebecca and Wesker in there. And quote Resident Evil 3 but it's not Resident Evil 3 you'll see what I mean all right hang on I gotta connect the uh I gotta connect the Wii <laughs> I'm still like why do they call it the Wii of all names they should have just gone with the revolution as originally planned let's see man that was a fun game though I'll tell you that one damn I blinded everything. Come on. Ah, let's see. Hang on a sec. I gotta. I don't remember which plug is for which. Mm. This is for that one. This goes there. Okay. I think we're good to go. You'll know by the sound of the Wii. <laughs> Got the gun control. We should customize this and make it look like a real one, right? <laughs> That'd be something. That'd be a doozy. The beauty of Ghetto Vision is it allows me to play this way, whereas people using the emulator of uh, the Wii, they'd have to use the mouse. And I don't think you get the same experience that way. With this as well, though, sadly, I, I, I tried streaming one, like, uh, what was it, a month ago? I tried streaming this game, using this, and with the cameras that's doing the ghetto vision, I put it on the side, so it would be, like, almost over-the-shoulder camera. Well, you can see my ass over here with this fucking control, and you can see the TV at the same time, but it didn't work well. It didn't look too good. It sounded good in concept, but in execution, no. All right. Let's see... All right, so I'm going to turn the attention over to the the TV, all right? Let's see. Oh, see, I'll see right there. We got the Ghetto Vision going. We got Mr. Miyagi shirt. And we got to comply with these things. Oh, wait. I got to move this. I got to move the tripod. It's far too close. Woo! So how's everyone doing today, huh? Is it, a, is it an all right day? Is it all right in your book? See, with the Wii controller, this is the zapper. There's like, how many different variations that they make? To the Umbrella Chronicles, accessing file number 2498119RC. Biohazard. The outbreak occurred in the summer of 1998. I'll let this play out. It started in the American Midwestern town of Raccoon City and brought hell. <laughs> Surprise on streaming on Tuesday. I know, dude. I, this time, I can't even guarantee what days of stream, dude, because 
Alright, I'll explain after this cutscene for anyone that wants to pay attention. They metamorphosed them into living death zombies. Oh, well, this is more bad. Umbrella's mission statement had always been preserving the health of the people, but beneath this bright statement lurked the shadow of Arthur E. Spencer's ambition. And a final concerning the outbreak incident in Raccoon City. The truth behind the rise and fall of Umbrella is something to which only a select few are privy. The beginning of the end started on the outskirts of Raccoon City, the Arclay Mountains. <laughs> I forgot. Let me see, I'm gonna read the comments to get back at you. <laughs> that sad spring. We are snowed within Buffalo, says Jonathan. Damn, hey, at least you got snow, man. It doesn't snow where I'm at. Last time it snowed near my area, around here, I guess. It was t like 25 years ago. To the oh, 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 oh. No, Red Queen, do not explain yourself again. Let's see. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope it's not too bad over there with the weather. Oh, yeah, Anthony, I was saying that I... Right now, when it comes to scheduling, I can't guarantee that I can... Uh, I can release a video every week or two videos a week. Like, it can really bring down the quality of a video, or I can make mistakes. And if I'm working on vids such as, like, the Awesome Facts ones, I don't want to make mistakes on that, you know? I don't want to make mistakes, period. But if I'm, like, speeding over here, like, trying to hurry up with a deadline, it tends to ruin videos. And, uh, man. Like, I, I think with the recent one... What was it? The recent one based on the... The comic that I made. What did you guys think of that one? That one took me a few years uh, to complete, but I had to get the concept, the characters, their info. Like I had to really break down where things were gonna occur. Umbrellas and oh, so I just unlocked it. So let's see. So yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna be streaming at random. I should, like, I should still be streaming at least once or twice a week. You know, I'll keep that going, but I can't guarantee at what times because sometimes I can have, like, a, like a free time in the morning or in the evening or in the middle of the day or so, and it's just, like, that would be the perfect time to stream instead. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, right here we got the Resident Evil Zero storyline. We got Resident Evil 1 story here. And then this is supposedly Resident Evil 3, but, like, it's supposed to be Resident Evil 3 because you're playing as Jill or Carlos, and you're chased by Nemesis. At least in the, in the third chapter, he chases you. But you don't go through the places that Jill and Carlos go through in the actual game story. They, they don't. You actually end up going through the outbreak scenarios. Like, right here, it's half of the first outbreak scenario mixed with... Uh, end of the road, the tenth scenario from basically the tenth outbreak scenario. Right here, you got underbelly, <laughs> and then this one, desperate times. That's the police station, and that kind of bites that they throw you in here. Like, yeah, that's the only one that does connect with Resident Evil 3 since Jill and Carlos. Oh, well, Jill does go there, but it kind of bites that they included it here because in Dark Side Chronicles, you're playing through Resident Evil 2, which Resident Evil 2 includes the RPD. So you're visiting the RPD twice in the Chronicles games, and that's like, I don't think that's good. You know what I mean? Let's see. Holy shit, is this the Wii? Yeah. <laughs> I got it on the Wii. We're doing this Ghetto Vision style, man. Look at that. There's the control. 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna check this out. Mm. You guys want me to choose a particular character here? Or better yet, would you guys prefer to choose the scenario out of all of them? Because we don't have to go through this. I basically spoiled it with this. You don't play through Resident Evil 3. You play through outbreak scenarios with Jill and Carlos in it. Do you prefer that one? Or zero or one? Or this new one I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Do you love the old RPD design? I know. Hey, dig it. Caviar, not caviar, says Anthony. <laughs> Tell me the facts, score. You got it. Do you remember? I remember Link's crossbow training. Crossbow training. <laughs> Ladies. Sandwich lady? You got icons that you could put on the text for, for that. For Jill Manwich. <laughs> the new one? You got one vote on the new one. If you're thinking that that's the Wesker one, it probably does continue with Wesker because these two have had Wesker side stories. Right here. Which is pretty cool seeing playing as Wesker before he injected himself with his own virus. And then over here, you get to play as him after, right here, after he's injected himself. Well, after he got somewhat killed by the tyrant. These two are interesting since you get to play as Rebecca in the, in the Spencer Mansion. Let's see. New. We got two votes on the new. House of the Dead had a good Wii shooter. Yeah, I was thinking of getting my hands on the, the two the two House of the Dead games. Well, one of them has two of them in there, but the one called, uh, there's one separate one called Overkill. Gotta get my hands on that one, too. So don't you think that his name, Carlos, sounds a little bit racist? No. Let's see. I wish Dark Side Chronicles didn't have the shaky camera. Dude, that's the one thing I hate about it. But I love what it did with its controls. All right, so we're, we got more votes on the new, so we're going to go with new. That means I get to be silent as well, so I can hear what they say. Assuming they say something. Oh, yeah, this one. The laser room. Jill it is. Ah, new submachine gun. What, is it, what do they call it here? Automatic pistol? Fires, uh, okay. You know what? Yeah, we'll hold on. Woo! Says Morton. I am a Rebecca Enjoyer, says uh, Artsy. Plummeted with government inquiries into their involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Before long. Yeah, Mace with the icons. And Artsy. The with the Jill man, which. <laughs> to the American government. Umbrella had strong ties and deep pockets. Thus, they were able to drag out the legal proceedings. Over time, it appeared that all evidence of Umbrella's involvement had vanished with the missile touchdown. How convenient for them. Though fortune has a way of turning when you least expect it. It was the year 2003. Umbrella had a base of operations in Russia where they were working on a new BOW. They were preparing to arm the unstable regions of the world with their bioweaponry. Chris and Jill had joined a regional biohazard containment unit and had heard rumors about this planet. Hmm, bada bim, bada boom! See, and he says, uh, this is the game you play as Chris and Jill and Dark Side Chronicles no play. The, the yes! Awesome, terrible power that awaits them with the new BOW. This feels like a documentary with Wesker. I know, right? He narrates throughout all of them, so yeah, yeah, it's good. Or except for the one with uh, Rebecca Seisler's. Who? I mean, good. 
And it says that it was one ending out of I don't know how many endings. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, they threw an alternate song. Yeah. Nope. It was fun and interesting. I really hope this new bio is just a rumor. We'll just Sorry. check out whatever they throw at us. <laughs> now Resident Evil Village. Boo! <laughs> I shall begin. Yeah, you do the deed. I want to be trying this. Stay on guard. This rail Seven. shooter. Yeah. And fun? I just started. By the way, was the potato salad good when you got this? Yeah, it was. It was, it was good. Mint? It was good. Oh. No, it was good. It's okay. just I was full. Okay. Because I was like, I hope it's good. Does that sound really good right now? You know. There you go. But it's not good. Ah, uh, headshot, headshot. Oh, come on, no, let me shoot. No, oh, no, wait. What was there? Ah, uh, heck. Oh, crap. Yeah, that was fun. You dig it? Mm-hmm. I recommend it. It's not a Resident Evil game, though. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, man. There you go. You gotta get critical like critical hits so you can get enough points to get an A or S rank and you need those because some like some scenarios will actually be unlocked as long as you got an A or S rank in a particular level you know, so funny. what up you know who helped me? Sapphire no I'm a little kid Oh, really? And he loved my channel. He thinks I'm the best. That's what he <laughs> nice. said. I thought that was so sweet, you know? Yeah. And he was, I was in the Discord chat so he can talk in there to help me through the thing while he plays it. <laughs> he plays it on the hardest mode ever. I'm like, dude, I don't know how you do it because on normal mode, it is so fucking difficult. I died. It tells you I did. It took me eight hours to defeat the game. It, I died like 21 times. Dude. Oh, shit. They threw in Crimson Head zombies in this part. Interesting. <laughs> so did you defeat the other team? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yep, yep. Man, that looks pretty... The aim looks pretty good. It's better in, uh, the... Oh, fuck. It's better in the sequel. Yeah, they, Damn you, we aim. You should be good. I swear I remember it being good. Just like the connect, blame the connect. That was good. Yeah, I gotta get them criticals. Get a critical. <laughs> there we go. It's critical. <laughs> At least you have unlimited ammo. Ah! Damn it, it didn't work. Stop getting a. A headshot. Oh no, I mean a like a critical. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> oh. oh, there you go. Woo! Wasted too much time with those ones. I might have enough critical hits by now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. That zombie over there is just vomiting. Like, I might have wasted too much. Ah, oh, damn, damn. No! Get out of the way! <laughs> I was like, I was trying to hit those barrels, but I suck at the aiming. Damn. How come nobody mentioned that Crimson Heads made it to this part? 
this part of the region. Like, what the hell? Hmm. Quick, which way should I go? Up or down? First person to comment on that. <laughs> Use the knife, it's so fun in these versions. Yes, it is. Up it is. I'm gonna let you guys do some of the decision making in this, alright? That way, this is a co op. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? No! Damn it! I had a reload? Oof. That was a bad time to... to not reload there. Did I see something up there? No? Okay. Everything ready? Yep. Damn. Ah, oh, shit. All right, forget about the critical hits. Just survive. <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh. Okay. That's interesting that they got comrades doing their job as well, like fighting off the infected. Nothing there. There's like barely any destructible objects in the background. What, over here? There you go. Ah, oh, shit, got sprayed with vomit. Okay, you know what? There we go. I gotta concentrate. <laughs> gotta reload everything. Ah, damn it. I didn't know that would blow up. Thought they had to be red in order to blow up. Ah, I still landed it? Ah, oh, shit, they got me. I should have done it the other way around. Shoot the hunters with the shotgun and then switch to the machine gun for the Cerberus. I'm about to try that again. <laughs> Let's see. Crimson heads only appear in RE1. Pretty sure they never appeared in the original piece. Yeah, they didn't. That's why I'm surprised that they made it outside the, the Spencer Mansion in one way. But then they would because all it was, from what I remember, or there's two versions. One version where they say they added a different strain into it, and then that's what added a different strain to the T-Virus, to the which turns them into Crimson Heads. But then they said, no, just leave them as a zombie for a longer state, and then it evolves eventually into a Crimson Head. And then moves on to the next step, which would be a uh, liquor. So, yeah, it would make sense if they would be over here in this place, if this place has been abandoned and you've had infected, like, roaming around for quite a while. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. We went up last time, we're going up again. See, everything's good. Oh yeah, this is that part. Oh, 
forget about the headshots. Just don't forget about the critical. Oh, there was a critical right there. <laughs> Getting closer. <laughs> I like that in Dark Side of Chronicles you can upgrade your handgun so the firing rate can be just like a regular rail shooter. Or when you hit the trigger like tap 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 tap, you can shoot like that. Bam 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 bam. Whereas right here, there's a delay every time, no matter how many how fast you pull the trigger. Damn it. Oh shit. Damn it! Can I hit you with the knife? Man, this one's better the closer they are. Watch it! Keep your eyes peeled. Just in case. Oh, what here? Have any of you guys played the Umbrella Chronicles games? Or is this like a new experience for you guys as well? Shit, I had it. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing in the background seems to be destructible besides the barrels. Everything reload. Okay, uh, what was it? Hunters first, shotgun. Damn! Even with that rapid fire? Ten shots left. Oh. Oof, that barrel came in handy. <laughs> nice. Come on, turn around. There's an item. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. There you have it. Checkpoint. Six critical hits. Good. If you don't get any, it'll reward you a B. You'll get a B rank. So you gotta have at least a few critical hits so that you can get at least an A or an S. Twelve minutes to beat this chapter. Bloody hell. What do you guys think of this mode so far? Let's see, uh, dance is a new experience for me. I hate motion controls, so I stayed away from it. You hate motion controls. You might get used to it somehow, man. I mean, think of it as playing a regular arcade shooter. Like an arcade rail shooter, you know? Think of it that way. That's what I do. There you go. The experience starts to get better. Because, honestly, the first time I tried this, playing this game, I didn't have a good experience. I hated it because the Wii aim, like the target, the little uh, aim, it didn't look like it was perfectly centered when I aimed the, the Wii remote on the screen. And I always had it like like a regular gun, you know, point, bring it closer to your face. <laughs> and that's that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just aim regularly and just go with the motion aiming. It works, like, after, after putting it that way, basically. Let's see. 
Hang on, let me read more comments before moving on. So this is that the Boulder Puncher and Jill sandwich. Yeah. Probably one of the last best times they, they kick ass together. I don't know unless you want to count Revelations or RE5. Man, it's hard for me to count which games would count. Let's see. They were an overused gimmick 90% of the time. But the uh, controls? Matt Bomb says, I've watched the Chronicle series on YouTube. It ain't the same. You got to play through it yourself. You'll see what I mean. Because at regular glance, you might think that this game is exactly the same as the sequel. Oh, crap. Hang on. Uh, yeah, you would you would think they're exactly the same, but they're not. If you play it yourself, you'll you'll experience and you'll be like, damn, the control is the control is different. Even the control uh, inputs, like the joystick. Let me see. Let me probably bring the screen over here to show you guys. Uh, where's the control? If I can find the TV controller. If not, I'm gonna just skip through this and get to the game. Let me see. Let me bring the this over here. Let's see. I know you guys can't see anything right now. I'm gonna move it like that. <laughs> so like this plays a whole different part. The little nub right here. It's a whole different use of it. Like right now on this game, you turn the camera to move around with it. But in the Dark Side Chronicles, by flicking it up, you change different weapons. Well, every direction is a is a different weapon. It's like, what the hell? Why'd they change that? And you can't move your character anymore in the in the sequel to this. So it's like you gotta you gotta experience it in order to see what I mean. It bites, but at the same time. You could get used to it. And that sucks because they do it all the time when it comes to Resident Evil. If you notice that, they've done it since the, the beginning. You, you'd be able to run by holding circle. And then in the next game, you have to run by holding square. You know, and you'll be like, what the? And then the next one, no, you run by holding X. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous that you can't change the, the settings. All right, hang on. I'm going to take a quick green herb. If anyone wants to join me while I read comments. Yeah, Anthony says, yeah, I liked Umbrella better than Dark Side. So far, I I'm kind of I'm liking both evenly in a way. I like what they did with part two being able to let you customize upgrade the handgun because I like to be able to hit the trigger like an in an arcade shooter go pop, 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 right as the faster you you hit that trigger button, that should be the amount of times that you shoot an opponent, but that you show on the screen, but in this game, it doesn't. The fastest rate of fire goes like bam, 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 instead of bam, 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 right? You see the difference? And with the, the upgrading the handgun in Dark Side Chronicles, it allows you to upgrade the firing rate so that it does feel like an arcade rail shooter. So that is an upgrade right there. But then this one lets you control the camera. So it's like, ah, oh, shit. The other one, that was the biggest issue, that the camera goes fucking everywhere, and you hate that. Especially when the characters just won't, they won't stand still. It's, it's mainly the camera that turns me off of Dark Side. Yep. I was having that major problem as well, dude. I'm there with you. All right. I want to take my green herb now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, boy. Damn, this drink is getting flat. <coughs> So is it dark for you guys right now as well? Is this late night hours? <coughs> I got a $2 tip from someone. <coughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Hang on. Let me <coughs> let me go back to see. <coughs> um, oh, no. Oh, it was a while ago. Mace. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Thank you. Thank you for the $2 tip, Mace. said, you, they, you think they would release an RE cookbook by now? I know, right? There's so many recipes they could come up with. They could make fucking puns out of anything. <coughs> a berry burrito. Uh, Chris over my hammy. I don't know, like moons over my hammy. <laughs> but uh, tofu, fucking, there you have it. <coughs> Damn, I need another drink. <coughs> um, you have the herb pie from Outbreak 2. God, man, I... I think I've do do dove too deep into fucking outbreak. I swear I've overdone it. And then people are still saying, dude, 
make a review for the second game's scenario was like, oh, <laughs> like <clears throat> I've been exploring Outbreak for too long. Isn't it, isn't it like about time I dive somewhere else? Maybe I don't know. All right, let's do this, right? Oh, wait. Oh, damn. I hate that they don't even flinch when you're hitting them. What the fuck? How was I supposed to react to that? <coughs> Why does it sound like the firing rate increased for this gun? Is that just me? Damn. Oh, yeah, and I like that in Dark Side Chronicles, you get to store your green herbs. Instead of them always just being used up the moment you pick them up. Ah! No! I don't want to use up the good weapons. Ah, oh, fuck it. Headshot! Oh, that was not a headshot. That was a shoulder shot. Alright. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, what was that? Gimme, gimme, gimme! Okay. <clears throat> Man, I look so corny holding this zapper. <laughs> if you guys can see what I look like, man, it's kind of funny. Hey, is there something shiny right here, huh? We're going in here? No, ladies first this time. Oh, sweet, I barely grabbed it. Oh, yeah, the place. I, I like that in Alpha. Oh, in Dark Side Chronicles, your partner actually walks up on screen, and you can actually help them. You know, they go through certain moments where you get to save them. They don't do that in this one. Chris and Jill are talking, but you don't get to see Chris. But you do get to see your partner in Dark Side Chronicles. So they learn, basically, right? But it's so funny that for, for this game, it wasn't even a, a fully... Uh, this game wasn't made from scratch because... You have assets from other Resident Evil games in here, such as the Outbreak game. They took the assets from Outbreak, man. Isn't that crazy? Nobody mentioned that shit, as far as I know, because not that many people made reviews on this. Oh, shit. Damn it! Stop vomiting! <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn, I thought that was going to stun him. Headshot, dead shot. There you go. Oh, man. Fat man herb. Get it. Ah, it was just weapons. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I think they're going to want me to push a button on the right timing. Ah, oh, man. Quick time event right here. Ah, oh, I got hit, didn't I? Did I get hit? I got hit. <laughs> I pressed the trigger button, which on the Wii, that is B. Damn it. Hey, I have full health now. All right, <laughs> get those guns. Get it! Oh, blood hell! Man, they should have brightened the colors. They should have, uh, like, added a little more saturation to their 
their outfits. They're very desaturated, basically. They're they're not colorful enough. Where did they come from? They're all over. Yeah, man. Oh shit. No, not another vomiter. No vomit. Headshot, come on! Ah, it has to be a critical, like a perfect spot. You see that when it like flickers? Oh shit! I was like, he's angry. Damn, none of those count. Finally. Wait, there was something over there. Damn it. Ah, uh, hell. Wait, wait, look that way. Ah, oh, you fool. Oh, there's that. Yes, pick it up. Chris, you can't let his death be in vain. All right, let's who? see this through. Right, let's go. Wait, who was that? Damn it. Ah, oh, I was like, wait till it gets closer, but I, I, I miss. Oh hell no! No! I heard it's a lot like easier to aim with a mouse. <laughs> Oh yeah, the first thing spray. Damn, yeah, man. Jeez, <laughs> oh. look at that pile. There were so many of them. What's with this place? We'll have to check it out. Oh, there you go. Take a breather. Yes. Something about this floor. Yeah, I noticed. She's like, holy rusted metal, Chris. Stand in hope. The ground. The nightmare. It's metal. It's full of holes, you know. It's holy. Uh, is this the Red Queen still? Or the other enemy that surprisingly no one mentions in the RE community? C rank bloody hell. <laughs> that's, that's bad. It's pretty bad. How many times did I lose? Two 
Too bad the players have only one first aid spray per scenario. They do. Oh, you gotta find them too. These arms are a bunch of bullet sponges. That's why I wanted them to upgrade, to let us upgrade the, the handgun. The main one's the one you can't upgrade, that bites. That's the first thing I upgraded in Dark Side Chronicles, the handgun. On the rate of fire, like the firing rate, that's the first thing I needed to upgrade as well. Hmm. We need something strong. Submachine gun. The one that Billy Cohen uses, I believe. Aw, oh, damn it. I can't upgrade anything with two. Alright. Oh, man. So you see right here, this one, that spot right there that I was highlighting with the arrow, <laughs> well, with the aim right here, this, I think if I would have gotten an A rank, I would have unlocked an extra chapter right here. Because usually that's what happens, that's why it's laid out right here in between these two. So if I would have done a great job, I would have unlocked this and that. So I'm going to have to replay this later. We'll move on to this one. This time we'll go with Chris. And give him... You know what, that is a good weapon, but... I think... I should choose something else such as this. Because this one, we're going to find it eventually. Right now, it's letting us start off with this gun as a, a side weapon. So pick the one that doesn't appear in the levels. Such as this, or... These. These ones, most likely. Or I guess these ones, since these ones only appeared in Resident Evil 1 and 0. In this version, basically. See, the final side scenario is unlocked after completing the main one. Ah, okay, George. Yeah, we got Devious over there. She's like, Hey, yo, I would be there, but I'm streaming Ari Village. <laughs> yeah, dude, she's going on a Resident Evil spree. That includes the, the titles that I would never play. Let's see. Where's my drink? My flat drink. You can see how the elevator led, led to a point hundreds of yards beneath the Earth's surface to an imposing facility designed with the exclusive purpose of mass producing BOW. Up to their old tricks, I see. They've got their sticky fingers in every pocket. This thing sure goes down deep. Wait, what's it's that? It's starting to look like the right place. We've only just recently learned about this place. I'm willing to bet it's hiding something important. We wouldn't do all this for nothing. From the side of the facility, it's obviously not just some warehouse. <laughs> Today's TV is using a Wii. This is what it looks like. It, it's too dark. And if you try going to the, the settings on the Chronicles games to change the brightness, it just says, change the brightness on your TV. <laughs> it's like, oh, you wise guy. It's a wise ass. You know what? This was when this game came out. They were taking a lot of inspiration from the the Paul Anderson films, so we're likely to see a lot of a lot of assets that are like references to that series for sure. I mean, seeing as we're gonna go through a laser trap as well.
Go for headshots. Damn it! <laughs> Bastard. Oh, hell no. Oh, whoa, did I just die? Oh, damn it. That's what I get for trying to get those critical hits. That bites. I need the, I need at least three. Yeah, like three critical hits. Damn, I hope it didn't set me back all the way. Up to their old Oh, fuck. They sent me back all the way. Oh, damn it. All because I was doing that. Damn, that sucks. That's a lot of, that's a lot of shit that I went back on. Okay. Oh, come on. You load everything. Damn it, I missed it again. spray. Shit! <laughs> Where's my green herb? Oh, man. What do you guys think of this scenario? Does it look too tough, or am I just ass at it? Let's see. Swamp Willow says, uh... What? The OG already had spiders and snakes. Oh, they threw in spiders and snakes here, too. <laughs> Unless you're having a debate about the remix. Let's see. Ah, he says, looks like fun. Dan Scott says, would have been cool if the villagers said werewolves, but they were actually hunters or something. <clears throat> they never called them werewolves? Seriously? Come on. <clears throat> Even, come on, if it's Resident Evil, you gotta say what it is. That's why they, uh, they straight up said it's a zombie <clears throat> in the classics. What up, sweet tooth? Check it out. I am dead. All right. Let's try again. This time, I don't know what I can do differently. <laughs> well, I could waste all my best weapons right away. If anything, wait, there was something over here. Pick it. Touch it. There you go. No, wait, hold on to this. Just up chuck as much as you can. Yeah, I got a critical. That was one critical. Wait, wait. Damn, they had a reload? You bastard. How was that? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No! <laughs> Another grenade. No, oh, grab that gun. Grab that gun, leather. Ah, oh, stop moving. Come on, camera. Stand still. There you go. <laughs> it's a bitch trying to do that. Everything's good. Five shots with this. Woo! Oh, that's what Chris does, huh? Not bad. Decontamination 
licenciado. Sí, señor. Would it count if I shot them in the noggin right now? Oh, fuck, there was a first aid spray there. Okay, don't do the same mistake twice. I'll get that first aid spray. There you go. I'm not sure, but I bet we'll find out soon enough. Okay, reload it. Everything good? Liquors, maybe? They'd be the ones in the, like, in there, in the air vents. Liquors, it's gotta be liquors. Ah, oh, shit, even better, Chimera, nice. Good job tricking me. I like that. Oh shit! <laughs> oh damn! Now the liquor's showed up. Okay, cool. Oh crap! Damn, a combination of liquors, and these are the models from Outbreak as well. All right, what am, what am I missing here? The guy's still fixated on these guys. Is one of these supposed to be alive? Oh, this guy was alive. I was like, why is he standing still? No, the Hunter Gammas, for sure. That's my guess right here, Hunter Gammas. What else would it be, right? Which way? I'm gonna leave this, leave this up to you guys. Left or right? Let's see, George says, I think the Chimera was the inspiration for the Jabberwock scene in Operation Javier. Yeah, they did look like that, huh? Go for left. Alright. Before I go there, Anthony says, um... Yeah, last started game I played in B was Dead Aim. Dude, that's one of my favorites. On my top five RE games, so Dead Aim is one of them. What do you guys think? Piranhas? Oh, sharks. Oh, damn it, Kevin. Oh shit, not enough firepower, I guess? I'm not going back there. What are we looking around for? There might be herbs. <laughs> Give me a herb. Oh man. Checkpoint at least. Damn. <laughs> We're gonna need bigger guns, yeah. Yeah! We 
Get out! Target practice. There you go. Critical hit! <laughs> Is that a crimson hit? Oh no, it's not. Oh shit. Whoa, I dig that. Ah, spaz. They are bullet sponges. Ugh. What's this? Did anyone play the this version of, let's see, the game, what's wrong game? They released this also on the PS3, but, uh, oh shit, I don't know if they added anything extra there. Did they? Okay, I'll reload everything, everything is good. Alright, where's that laser one? Help it. Is that one of the monkeys? It's a trap. A laser trap. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, there was that gun. This is insane. Come on, grenade. With this many of them, we must be getting close. It's the final stretch. Let's move it. Damn, look at that crowd. Oh, my hands. Right. No! <laughs> I was like, we get to see the death. Oh, they just make the screen go red. Damn it. I was hoping to see a cool little cutscene. That's the beauty of the laser trap. When they fail, you see something, uh, a creative fatality, basically. Damn. Oh, shit. They threw me back this far if I lost? Oh, shit. That's not good. Damn, that's not good. That means I better, I better not fuck up. Not if we can help it. So last time I wanted me to tap A, so I'll just remember that. Hopefully it works. It's a trap! Whew. Let's see. This one up. Ay, ay, ay. My hand. <laughs> Using the Wii Zapper for a while is not smart. Man, come on, get this right.
can't remember if it's only once, right? Okay. That's believable. <laughs> Security systems active? That must mean we're getting close to something important. We can't get through. Do you guys think it felt like it led up to this point? Grab it! There you go. Where's the chimps? Well, that's cool. Dude, they're throwing everything here. That's pretty cool. Is the bees? Ah, fuck, what bees? Oh god, I couldn't hit it from that far. Wait, what was that? Damn. Something off. Oh, let's see. Come on, there was another item over here. Pick it up, pick it up. Oh, it's not a healing item. Oh, damn it. Oh, good. Oh, shit. Okay, there you go. Right? Look at all those chimps. Well, you know, the monkeys. What do they call them again? They have, oh, the Eliminators. I was like, they had a long name. The Eliminators. I think gave me only one. Obtain Richard Eichen's letter. Ah, this is probably the one about his uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> We're on to the final chapter. Oh, my back. What do you guys think of that that chapter? What would you rate it out of five? Mm, level one, eh, might as well. Oh, never mind. Can't afford it. We don't have enough star. <laughs> That's it. We can afford you? Okay. Hang on, let's see. Okay, I got enough time to beat this next chapter. Save data. Yep, yep. Oof. Before I go on, let me read some comments. Oh, man, my back is killing me now. <laughs> Ooh. -y. Time for Dindin, says Slowpoke Garcia. You call it Dindin too? That's what Devious calls it over there. Oh, man. My legs. Let's see. <laughs> Slowpoke gives it, and I just got here out of five. Creativity with that one. Swamp Willow of four. Yeah, right? Not bad. Five of five, it all it went all out. I know, right? Throwing even the eliminators. It's like we're throwing they were just tossing they're making it rain basically with a bunch of different creature cards, basically, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Hmm. 
maybe the launcher. Yeah. The launcher will, will help out big time. Oof. <laughs> sweet tooth with the sweet new icon. <laughs> why do I feel like? Why do you feel like quoting DMX? The only quote I would know at the moment is, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me! Ah. Ooh. Right, Here we hope again. Come on. It's time to finish this place off. So people would, that did play this game said that this is the official conclusion to Umbrella. This would be the official downfall. Let's see if it's true, right? Oh no, not that weapon yet. Oh, fuck you, gun. Yeah, had to reload at that point. Oh shit, he jumped. Oh boy. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm getting House of the Dead vibes. House of the Dead 2. Oh no wait, three as well. It ends the same way. Or slightly different in the lab. With Kyrian. And destroy everything. Take that. Let's see if I can take them down with this. Oh hell no. Not when that guy's doing that. Oh, damn it. Man, how strong are they? Fuck. <laughs> no, I don't spray. Ah, oh, damn. There goes my first thing spray. Was there something over there? Another quick time event, I think? Yeah. I'll do what if that was a laser? Who would have been one legged Chris if that happened to be a laser? It was a laser, but not one of the deadly ones. <laughs> Ironic, right? It would have been Peg Leg, Peg Leg Chris in a different universe. Ah, oh, shit. No! Oh. oh, shit! You guys? Interesting. I did not expect to see Ivy creatures here. 
It's Umbrella Chronicles. I mean, Dark Sun Chronicles that includes the story of RE2, so I wouldn't expect them to be in this one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, game! Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Man, this is definitely gotta be one of the main umbrella HQs. Come on, show up. There you go, one critical. Take that. Ah. Oh, what do I have? Empty. A whole lot of this. Okay, good. Checkpoint. Yeah! Yeah, that was his one critical hit. I'm gonna take my green herb, ladies and gentlemen. You guys enjoying this stream, by the way? Swamp Widows in high school of the dead. And wait, what about that? Was it was it good? Was it goat? Not for me, man. I I fan service way way too much. Can you believe that? Too many tits in the way, and, and it makes a man be like, "All right, enough already." <laughs> when you just care about the story or whatever, you're like, "Get the titties out of the way." <laughs> Uh, that was kind of what was going on after a while. Oh man, I gotta hang on, guys. I gotta stretch my my back and my lower back. <sighs> man, what a day! By the way, did any any of you guys get notified on the latest video? Let's see, Morton says, "Love Ari." I'm playing Code Veronica and RE Remake now. <laughs> Let's see. God, people really forget about House. <laughs> hey, I'm going to play those eventually, man. I want to get them. Ironically, I have the, the case for House of the Dead 2 and 3. That's what it's called on the Wii. I have the case, but I don't have the manual or the game. Uh... Can let's see, hang on. Billy! My guinea pig Billy's over here and he's eating a napkin? Well, I guess that's better than the cat food. He hasn't eaten cat food in a while, but yeah, Billy the pig Billy the guinea pig would eat cat food at one point. <laughs> that's how you get your protein, huh buddy? Yeah my boy. I think he wants a carrot stick. Hang on guys, let me go get a carrot stick. For the little fella. Let me know if you guys want to see him. Let's see. Got him. All right, Billy. Can you guys hear him walking on the on the floor? <laughs> like the. You can hear him on the tile. All right, my boy, my boy, my boy. Here you go. Here's your carrot stick. Whew, I need water. Wrong hot D. What? Wrong house of the dead, you say? What? I only have a ragdoll cat. That's my only pet animal. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hang on. Hope everyone's having a good time so far. We're watching the collapse of Umbrella. According to peeps that have played the crap out of this game, they say that this would be the actual downfall of Umbrella instead of the intro that we got in Resident Evil 4. In the original, since in the original, in that version of the opening, they mentioned that Umbrella fell due to the stock market. <laughs> Whereas in the remake, they didn't mention that shit. So it's like, oh, maybe Capcom might, might do a good job, but who knows. 
I kind of doubt it. I don't know. Well, whatever, right? To each their own. <sighs> Hang on, I gotta take a quick puff. Are we gonna meet any anyone alive in this building? <coughs> Is this place completely dead? All right, let's do this. Enough already. As long as none of them upchuck. Look at that, they're trying to upchuck. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck this. Oh, damn it. Oh, again? You know what sucks? Sometimes even though my uh, my weapon isn't all the way empty and it needs a reload, it's it's many times when I shoot, it'll automatically want to reload. I think this is because of the, of the TV that I'm using, basically. Something about it doesn't get my aim well, so I don't try looking at the aim close to it. Like, if you guys saw what I mean, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's completely off. So I just try using the motion aiming to aim well instead of literally trying to aim like a like you would with the with the gun controls basically. But sometimes when I shoot, it automatically reloads. So right there it did that even though the weapon was loaded. It's like, ah damn. I should switch to the other TV. <laughs> like a smaller TV that I have in, in the other bedroom. But I brought it out here because I was like, this is a big ass TV. Like I <laughs> This this looks nice. Jesus. Oh, you bastards! You're just as annoying. Ah, oh, it was empty. God, I hate that I'm holding on to empty weapons getting away. See, that's where where the in Dark Side Chronicles you get that advantage of the joystick, where if you move it to the left, right, or down, you're selecting a specific weapon. So I would always have like the shotgun when you push the joystick nub down. That's how you access the shotgun to access a machine weapon, uh, like a automatic firing weapon to the right. A strong weapon like the magnum or grenade launcher to the left. And handgun to forward with the joystick. It's easy to select them. Whereas here you have to you have to go through like the selection right there. You got to go cheat, 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 cheat. Nope, not this one, not this one, not this one. Yep, this one. Is linked to the door. If we take it out, the door should open. What switch? Why'd just shoot that? Okay, what about here? <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to you guys again. Which way? Left or right? First answer is the one we go with. So, Mr. Killer, how's it going? I feel like I haven't been blinking. And it sucks when you gotta wear contacts. <laughs> it just dries up. You're like you could feel it. Let's see, we're going. Oh, first one was to the right. <laughs> okay. Alright, it is. Oh, God. Gotta get the critical hit. I always aim for their legs just to make them bend the knee. It buys me a little bit of time. Let's just 
sure. The same room, over and over. It must be set up this way to confuse intruders. That ain't nice. Up ahead. I like the sound of that. Shoot! <laughs> Another Umbrella Psycho. The latest in Umbrella's product line. Ah, uh, finally the ugly tyrant. His name Talos. A pinnacle of biological weapons. All controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. Is an ugly weapon and I mean it just visually does not look appealing rockets. we need to shoot him down oh man he shoots rockets what do we do now nothing seems to be working oh hell no whoa Damn, that's how much damage I've dealt only. Oh, none of them with the spread of a shotgun. Damn, that was not good. Strategy, strategy, strategy. What do I do with this one? Rockets? We need to shoot them down. So this is what they've been developed. What do we do now? Nothing seems yeah. to be working. We have to find a weakness. Oh god. Oh damn, I didn't I didn't look at the screen. I was looking at the top left. Oh damn it. Jesus. Tell me I gotta shoot the, the rocket launcher. No! <laughs> oh, sweet! No! Oh, 
Hell no. Five shots. Shit, that ain't gonna be good enough. Oh man, no, no fair. Damn, dude. Oh. No. Oh, hell no. I wasn't going to be able to react that fast. Oof. For those of you that have played this game, was it this tough? Was it this tough for you? Taking a rocket loan to the face? Yeah, man. What the hell? Do you surprised with all the, the, the different types of tyrants that we've seen throughout the franchise? How come we've never seen, like, a monsters-only brawl? Like, literally, just a bunch of tyrants. A game where you only select tyrants. Kind of like uh, Rampage, you know, where you just go up, throw a bunch of animals against each other. Bunch of giant rabbit animals fighting against no well not against against humanity I guess let's see it was always tough I had this for PS3 yeah he runs like a gorilla for this one damn wait am I doing the right thing though am I supposed to shoot his weapon or his face or his chest because it looked like there was a little bit of a glowy thing in his in his chest was I supposed to aim at that all along or his face because uh, earlier when, when you played through the supposed RE3 segment, when you're taking on Nemesis, you have to shoot his rocket launcher. So for this guy, it's like, do I do the same strategy? Do they want you to do the same thing? Or just headshot, dead shot? Because goddamn, that ain't cool, fool. <sighs> All right, here we go again. Wait, how much time do I have left? Oh, God. I gotta make this count. Ah, all right. If this doesn't work, I'll, I'll have to try again, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, well, first let me see if anyone does know the, the answer to infection. I mean, that is the answer to whether I should go for the headshot. Mm, let's see, try to get it. Infinite ammo and failed bad. Oh, yeah, and in order to get the infinite ammo for all the side weapons you have, you need to get an S rank on all the levels. And that's like, damn, dude, I get it. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense, right? Get an S rank so you can be re rewarded the, the mother of all cheats. Of course, makes sense. But it's like, damn, that's too much. I'm terrible at this. The good thing is we can upgrade our weapons, so every time we play through a, in a previous scenario, it's not going to be that difficult. But then you also have two different... You no, know, you have the difficulty options as well. Easy, normal, hard. Meaning you also have to beat it in those different modes to obtain other shit, I think. Let me see. Let me check with the chat. You're being chased by liquors and stuff. I thought of an idea called Resident Evil Racing. A racer? I don't know. A race against time? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could that be what I gotta do is just stay alive and then they'll drop like a rocket launcher for me? Hey, that's happened in, in previous RE games, man. It literally happened with RE1 and 2. Somebody drops a rocket for you. Nobody questioned it. <laughs> okay. I know I'm, I'm sort of stalling, but I gotta take a breather. Okay, buddy. We need to shoot him down. So this is what they've been developing. What do we do now? Nothing seems to be working. We have to find a weakness. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I think his armor breaks. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. I love that. Yeah, look. I love that. Yeah, that's good, dude. That's, that's fantastic. 
I love that battle damage. Oh shit, dude. Oh man, what the fuck? Did all of them blow up with one of them? Moment of truth. This should be interesting. Twenty five. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, got me there. Oh, man, don't do that. I can't get that. Isn't he done fighting yet? Okay, reload. Oh, I see what to do there. Dry ass lips right now. Oh shit. No, game, don't make me reload. Oh, come on, don't do that. Turn into a, uh, a a boss from turn into a boss from Touch of the Dead or Touch the Dead if anyone knows what game I'm talking about. Damn! I chucked my grenade and all my best weapons at that thing, and now I mutated. <sighs> this is the part where I just like, uh, well, I guess I'm gonna die hard with a vengeance. Form? Is this his real form? This is it. Let's take him down. Whatever we do, we have to finish him off. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, Jesus. Please tell me I get to start from there and not from its first form. Because no matters, dude. Come on. Come on, game. I ain't that good, bro. I ain't good at all at this. Come on. Come on. Don't make me start from scratch, please. Yeah! Transform? Oh look, it's got little eyeballs. This is it. Let's take it back to the trick. Chris, what the? Chair in the shoulder and chest. What? What? Wait, I, I moved. I wait, dude, that's dope. How did nobody fucking mention this? This guy literally took the laser trap as part of its weapon. That's dope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it just like, looks like it pinches you. Ugh. Bastard. Dude, I don't have any good weapons, though. Tell me they at least throw them around the area. Or my surroundings right here. Oof, come on, come on, come on. You transformed? Is this his real form? That did the trick. Chris, aim for that tear in the shoulder and chest. Concentrate fire. Right. Oh shit. Oh damn it, I thought I did it fast enough. Oh, wait, wait. Do I suck at this? Come on. Damn it, it wasn't fast enough. Wait, I think I saw... Yeah, yeah, down there. Grab it! <laughs> I'm so slow. Ah, oh, damn Oh, 
Jeez. You gotta do four quick time reactions right there, dude. That's not cool. Oh, not again. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, come on. And then your other one. Oh, it's not gonna do it. Damn it. Don't pinch my ass. Oh, Jesus. I was like, switch to a weapon that has ammo. So at least we could get some machine gun ammo lying around the area. Damn, there's too many like quick time moments right there. And when you gotta do that, it tells you to shake it. When you're holding the zapper, it ain't that easy. <laughs> you gotta let go of it and then go like this. Oh, you can't see, but let me see. Let me, let me show you guys, maybe. Oh, hell, I don't have much time. I gotta hurry it up with this one. 12. Oh, boy. Where's my Volta? Last toke of the day, guys. Anybody wanna join me on passing the peace pipe? Ugh. Damn. When you're playing a rail shooter, you always want to do it standing to get that good uh, feeling. No. <laughs> nah, just, I mean, might as well, right? You're going to be working at your arms. Might as well work at them legs, right? Yeah, anybody want to join me on pot taking in the peace pipe? Uh, put a, a green herb or a picture of, of uh, Jill Manwich <laughs> on the comments. Hope you guys are enjoying this at the very least. Right? We should at least have some some uh, fun out of this. Let's see. The glowing spots are the vulnerable ones. Yeah, it's it. the thing is it moves around a lot. Let's see. Hey, man, your content made me buy the OG RE3. Oh, nice. Dude, I love the OG RE3. That's why I was hoping that in the RE3 segment in, in this game, it actually, like, I wanted them to make us go through the clock tower, you know, or the dead factory. I wanted to go through the streets of Raccoon City. We did go through the streets, but we go through the same exact streets from the from the Outbreak games. So I'm like seeing the same thing again. And it was literally the exact same assets. So I felt a little bit like, I don't know, it's not... I felt disappointed because where else do we get to see Resident Evil 3? Like those locations. Because God knows we didn't get that with the remake. <sighs> Man, that remake... <laughs> just like thinking about it right now I'm like it still hurts because it, it was like a great game but it was just a great demo they didn't try anything with it oh god I, I'm just repeating the same shit I've said basically right hang on guys I gotta take a I gotta pass the peace pipe right now oh gotta go says George oh dude that bites that you didn't get to see the, the conclusion we're gonna end it pretty sure this this has to be the last boss fight of the of the story here right well, thanks for joining us, George. I I don't know when I'll continue doing when when the next stream will be. It just has to be when I have like, uh, like a moment to to chill with you guys. At the same time, I'm like, should I do it in the evenings or in the mornings or rotate, right? Rotate around so everybody gets a chance to join in. For those that are living in different regions, not the same as the one I'm in, right? Way too short, <laughs> says Shadow. Forgot how brutal Umbrella Chronicles was. Is it brutal? This is a doozy. Damn, I would take another toke right now, but I'm like, this this game probably has me already too toked up. So I'm going to ignore that and just get straight to the fight. We were able to beat him in his first form, right? We should be able to do this again. I just got to get his patterns down. That's what it's always about when it comes to these games. You got to remember the patterns. But I gotta land it, you know, I gotta land these shots, I'm terrible at it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. He transformed? Is this his real form? This is it. Let's take him down. Whatever we do. Ah, uh, here we go again. Is 
shit, shit. Dealing damage, wasn't it? Oh, we're not in the right spots. Damn, man. How am I gonna do this? I need more ammo. I need the shotgun ammo, but I hate that I have to keep switching the weapons and it keeps putting me towards the empty ones. Is this his real form? This is it. Let's take him down. Whatever we do, we have to finish him off. Let's see if I can do this. Oof. I hate when it tells me to shake it. I'm telling you, when you're trying to shake it with the uh, with the Wii Zapper on, it sucks. I gotta try to conserve ammo here. Damn it! <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. I see. I didn't count. Fuck. Damn, I'm telling you, it sucks when you have to react on shaking it. Let me show you guys what I mean. like change it to not change it to that all right hang on guys Boop. all right let's see I gotta get used to the controller these days where's the fucking button there you go all right so it's like it wants you to shake it right when you're using this thing like that and it says to shake it you gotta let go of this immediately and then go like this <laughs> Just spastically move this shit around and then go again holding it. It says push the B button. Okay, you gotta hit the trigger button. A button is all the way up here, so you gotta like hold it like this in hopes that if it wants you to push A, you can push it like that. But you don't want to have the hand right here because you have to use it over here so you can push this button so you can pick up items. So it's like, oh fuck, it has to doing this shit. It's like, uh, uh, like pushing this and this and this, like rotating back and forth. And you see that it makes you go through that three to four times. It's like, damn, man, that's too much. You overdid it, game? That's how I'm, like, missing it. I'm missing the shot over and over. It's killing me, Smalls. All right. Oh, my wrist. That's That hurts the most when you're shaking it. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Okay. Transform? Is this oh, yeah. Form? This is it. Pick it up. Take him down. God damn it! I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, why did he skip the other thing? Oh, you fucker. You and your unbalanced rhythm. Pick it! Oh god. No, not this part again. Fucker always lands hits. Look at that. Come on, Landy! Oh. oh my god, this part again. Oh god. It doesn't help that again, since I'm using a, a particular type of 
I guess a modern TV with an old school Wii, sometimes the game thinks that you're trying to reload, so it'll reload instead of shooting. And it's like, don't reload while I'm trying to shoot. Not against a boss. Not against the final boss of all peeps. What the? You could shoot right here? How the hell is that the first time I noticed? Oh my god, fucking A. Look at the gun. Get the gun! Get the gun! <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh, fuck. My favorite part. Come on, hit him. Come on, gun, shoot more than fucking once per hour. Fuck! Jesus. Dude, the rate of fire is fucking absurd. Oh, come on, game, I did push the button. Oh, man. God, it's killing me. Tell me, if only it was like an actual arcade rail shooter, because my problem is that the gun goes bam, 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 bam. That's the fastest rate, the firing rate. That's the fastest it can go. Even if you click the trigger, like tick, 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 you want it to go bam, 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 right? But it won't do that. It won't allow you to. <laughs> that's where that's where the sequel, Dark Side Chronicles, gives you that perk, that that fairness, basically. Because at least right there you can upgrade the rate of fire. And then you can actually play like an arcade rail shooter. But right here it's trying to be a rail shooter while limiting your, your chances of, of actually experiencing that with a handgun. I mean, it's the only thing that you, you, you got to do here. And they kind of screw you over with that. It's like they want me to start all over. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want it to be like. So it does work. Like it, like that, like a real shooter, but only on the loading screen? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I can't believe they did that, dude. Assholes. Look, you hear me with the, with the tapping the button? Let me hang on. Fucking pick it up. Pick it! Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, perfect. Hit him! <sighs> what up, sweetie? Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, man. 
Hey, what the hell? Oh, look at his health bar. Fuck. Damn, this guy's gonna beat the hell out of me. I'm not good enough to stop all of its uh, attacks. Look at that, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I got my fellow chunk cat over here. How you doing, my boy? How you doing, my boy, my pickle? Damn, pickle. I'm a thick boy. Damn, man, this one is insanity. I'm gonna have to probably just give it one last, one last chance and then I have to give up. I mean, what else can we do? It seems a little unfair. I don't think I will be able to beat him. You saw how I poured everything right there and I wasn't even halfway through his health. I was almost halfway, but not even halfway. So I would have to do it again, but without the use of a submachine gun through the rest of, through the, through that half portion of his health. If for some lucky reason they give us, they respawn the, uh, this, you know, the, those Uzis, they look like Uzis. They call it an automatic pistol here. Let's see, hang on. Now I am going to take, take a uh, part of my green herb. Forget how brutal... Oh, forgot how brutal Umbrella Chronicles was. Yes, it is. Or is that the same with the comment from before? And my phone just refuses to refresh comments. Let's see. Do you have the Motion Plus as well? Well, I mean, it is. It's just the Wii. I'm using the Zapper. The Wii Remote with the chuck attached to it with this plastic thing they call a Wii Zapper. It's flimsy. Flimsy fuck. I wonder if the pistol one, the one that's like in the form of a pistol is better than this. You guys played with both? <laughs> All right, hang on, I gotta take a quick toke. If anyone wants to join me, that'd be great. Oh man, my mouth's so fucking dry. All the talking. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Mr. Kill Jr. says, I believe he can. Farm. You're right. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to have to do for sure. <clears throat> Not just that, but replay previous scenarios. Do the whole grinding thing to, to upgrade all the weapons I have. <clears throat> Make the firepower, you know, give it a little more kick. <clears throat> I wonder if I can do this better if I do it on my knees. <coughs> nah. Who the hell plays an arcade shooter on their knees? Alright, here we go. Alright, one last chance, one opportunity. Failure means we get to go to bed or something. <laughs> <coughs> God, this is tough. It's too tough. It gets annoying with those damn tentacles. Chest. You ain't for that. Right. Oh, fucking shake. Oh, stop, stop. Stop it all oh, over. Yes. Alright, I was one. Aw, oh, this part. I hate these things. No, don't reload now. This gun, dude. I can't beat it with the pistol. I suck big time with the pistol. Oh, oh fuck, a doodle do. Oh, 
fucking rate of fire, you suck my ass! two hands. Dude, how's anyone supposed to kick, like hit him and take those two things at the same time? Not even a spread shotgun would do the deed right there. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Not yet. I have to keep playing through the previous scenarios and keep updating, upgrading the weapons. I had to do that with Dark Side Chronicles as well. When I couldn't take down Mr. X around the, you know, the RE2 segment. I had to go back and play a lot of the Javier missions and then the beginning of RE2 scenarios as well. Just to grind up and, and make the, the main weapon stronger, faster, and, you know, everything better. Gotta have a little bit of, of an opportunity to win against these guys. But you saw, I mean, I was pouring everything with that fucker. It wasn't doing anything. Oh, man. But you know what? We had a pretty good time. We got pretty far. <laughs> Umbrella one? <laughs> yeah, we... Turn, it turn that shit off. Right? So... That's that lights. That's that. Be like, oh, gotta turn off the TV and everything. It's over. Everybody can go home. Go home, right? <laughs> We're all home already, everybody. I started the stream with Raven. I'm gonna end it with Raven. Real my sweetheart. They're like, wait a guys, thank y'all for joining in. She's like, get this human off me. <laughs> She's a sweetheart too. Alright guys. Take it easy. Take care and I don't know when I'll stream next, but it will be this week. You know, no worries, alright? Everybody Welcome take care. Umbrella See you next time. Alright, now I gotta sign off. Where's the bloody button? <laughs> there you go. One, one,